once again we welcome you to um, yet another parade of suspects. Um, the week under the the period under review this time around is um, three weeks. The last three weeks. Um, so the suspects and um, recoveries made that we are presenting today were all done within the last three weeks, and we have a total of 26 suspects today. 27, pardon me, 27 suspects. 26 of them are males, while there is one female. And uh, all of these suspects are involved in different crimes, though violent crimes, um, chief of which is cultism. I remember I said it even during the last parade of suspects that um, cultism is our biggest challenge in Lagos State now and is not being helped by the spread of illicit drugs that has been um, helping or making the problem of cultism worse in the state. So um, chief of which, like I said, is cultism. We also have some suspects for armed robbery. We have some for murder. And we have one suspect here for pipeline vandalism. Um, like uh, two weekends ago, or is it up to two? No, two. Just a, a, a week ago, yes, a week ago today, um, a pipeline was um, broken into somewhere in Idimu, and the Commissioner of Police, Lagos State Command CP, the Wowo, who visited the scene. Um, so we, we commenced investigation into that matter, and we have been able to arrest one suspect by name Sahid Ramon, aged 46 years. Um, interestingly, Ramon has always escaped arrest. He has been into this business for approximately 10 years now. Um, he would come to Lagos, do this, and run out of Lagos. Uh, but we've been able to catch up with him. He has been arrested, and um, we are getting close to arresting other of his gang members. So we have cultism, and robbery, murder, and pipeline vandalism. And all of these arrests were made in different parts of Lagos State. We have uh, Mushin, Okokomaiko, Iba, Agege, Idimu, and Apapa. And we recovered some arms and ammunition, a total of seven locally made pistols, three live ammunition, one knife, and one axe. Other recoveries, uh, we've re recovered some SIM cards from these suspects, two motorcycles, which they sometimes use when they are going out to perpetrate their crimes, one unregistered Toyota Corolla, which is also there for you to see, different charms, and one beret with insignia of cultism boldly on it. So basically, that's what we have today. 27 suspects, 26 males, one female, for cultism, armed robbery, murder, and pipeline vandalism. Um, I would like to use this opportunity to assure Lagosians and all residents or visitors to Lagos State that Commissioner of Police, Lagos State Command, CP, the Wowomua, will not relent in our collective efforts to ensure that we rid the state of uh, crime and criminality. Um, he charges his men every now and then and he supervises his men every now and then to ensure that we make Lagos to remain on that highly coveted list of the safest states in the country. Thank you. So at this point, uh, I would like to ask if we have questions. For us, we are doing our part to enforce the law, to arrest perpetrators and get them prosecuted. Um, but um, societal leaders too, parents, guardians too, need to um, keep tabs on their children. So it's not enough that your children go to school and come back. You should go the extra mile to ask what happened in school today. It's not enough for your teenage child to say, I'm going for a bad birthday party. You should go the extra mile to ask questions about the party. And when they come back from the party, what's really transpired at the party? Because most of the people that get um, initiated do get initiation at parties, sometimes even behind their school. Is that crazy? Sometimes after or during break or after school, behind the school premises. So um, I'm saying that while we play our parts, we also encourage everybody out there to also join hands to monitor the vulnerable 
demographic, the youth. We need to monitor them and see what they do so that at the earliest sign that somebody is engaging in something nefarious, you can quickly look into it. So to answer your question simply, there is no elaborate scheme. It's just peer pressure and secrecy. Um, concerning the pipeline vandalism, police complicity, I'll leave that at what it is for now, accusation. Um, when any one of them is arrested, then we can confirm that yes, there's complicity on the part of police. But true, um, that's um, a concern many people have raised. Police complicity, not just police, let's say security agencies, their complicity. And um, this is an ongoing investigation about the one in Idimu. We have one suspect. We also have other suspects we have not arrested. We have their identity, we have their location, and in the coming days, we will get them arrested. So if it turns out to be a police officer or any member of, uh, or a member of any other security agency, it does not exonerate them. We assure Nigerians that we would get them apprehended and they would face the law squarely. Talking about amnesty, well, uh, I don't want you to preempt us, and um, I wouldn't be talking about our strategies to fight cultism. Um, for now, well, we could talk about certain strategies, but there are certain strategies too that I wouldn't um, talk about prematurely. So if we eventually come to that, if we eventually come to also talking about amnesty in conjunction with the state government and all of that, definitely we will um, announce such. But that's not to say we have ruled it out. We are not ruling out that um, possibility. Anything that would make crime reduce in our society will be well embraced. So we are monitoring the progress of the one in open state. We want to see how it would pan out. And if it turns out to be a very veritable means of reducing this menace in our society, why not? We would embrace it. So it's, it's something still on the table.